Hello everyone and welcome to HWW. In today's video we will be doing this beautiful bottle in fusion. This is our first video after a long time we are doing it on fusion and we will start at doing again and we will also try to do voiceovers. So let's start. The first thing will be the sketch in the front plane. We will start with the line. And this line will be at a distance of 100 mm from the origin and the height of this line will be 600 mm these two are just the construction lines so next we will we have to draw an arc we'll go here and select arc so this point and this point we need to make horizontal and these two points also we can make horizontal. This end point of this arc will be at 250 millimeters and these points will be at a distance of 75 millimeters. The radius for this arc will be 500 mm. Now we draw another arc on the other side. These two points again will be horizontal, same at the top. So this distance will be at 75 millimeter away and these two points shall be at 250 millimeters away now we have to put the radius which will be 600 mm so now our this sketch is complete we can change this line into construction line and we can finish the sketch as the next step, we will select sketch again, select this plane, tilt it a bit, this time we will create an ellipse, we can use the origin as the center point, align it, now we can select this point and this point make coincident, it is still undefined in this direction so we'll give a dimension to it let's give it 200 mm so this is up till here it is complete now before moving ahead we should save it let's call it bottle next we have to create a construction geometry which is a plane we will select the reference plane and then we will put a distance of 280 millimeters. Now we will start sketching in this. We will use an ellipse. So this end point will be coincident here this end point here and this distance shall be 280 millimeters now we will finish a sketch so last sketch which will be at the top for that we first do a plane select this as the reference plane and here we will select two object this press ok now we will create another sketch using this plane and a circle you see it's already defined because it has taken reference from these points I will finish a sketch so at the, as the next step 
we will do a loft so first we have to select the profiles we start from base then this one and the last one still not done yet we will select the rails and then press ok so the basic geometry is done let's press it save so next step is to engrave a circle over here to do that we will make another plane at a certain distance value is not important over here it's just that it should be out of the body you select sketch again select the plane to be sketched select circle so the diameter will give 450 and this distance and this distance shall be 290 millimeters now we finish this so next step is to do a cut extrude or a cut so we change the direction and over here we will select two object so we have to select the object first and the distance is to it minus 20 press ok we need to now mirror this on the other side let's mirror it we have to select the feature and the mirror plane so the mirror plane we can select from here it is ok so the extrusion is done next is to cut a handle out of it so for that we will use the xy plane for sketching create sketch and we'll create another arc three point arc maybe first of all we need to project this curve out we press P and select this curve and press OK now it is projected out now we will first use the arc it's already on that sketch seems there is a line which we created accidentally we delete it now we create a line from the midpoint of it vertical let's give some dimension to it Let's also specify some dimension to it. Three hundred and this angle as well. So our sketch is complete. We can actually turn these two three lines into construction. We don't need it. Finish a sketch. Now we will simply use the cut extrude select the profile symmetric all and we'll press ok so next step will be to make the neck part of it so to do that we will select the xy plane again create sketch
will project this press p okay we need to snap the middle middle of it select the line again so it shows the profile is complete already so now start dimensioning 80 50 so we we'll create this sketch over here small it 15 so the sketch is complete we finish a sketch we'll do the revolve it is asking to select the axis so now we see our basic geometry is complete now we will start adding the fillets and we'll select the edges so we have to be very cautious about the values not every value can work here based on the geometry so these two edges also needs to be fillet okay Millimeters, and this value again needs to be fillet. Two millimeters at the neck. Let's do it five millimeters. So these values have to be chosen carefully, otherwise we will not be able to make it hollow. shell command doesn't work very good in this if we have very difficult curves to select the face and give it a value of 2 mm it's okay so now it is done you can save it once now we can put some color inside it Right, right click appearances so we go to plastic and we can select this color drop it here maybe the whole bottle can be black so we are done with this part here i hope you people must have learned something out of this tutorial this is our first tutorial almost after a long time in fusion and we will start giving voice overs also because a number of people have asked that with voice over it would be better to understand so i hope you people liked it If yes please like and subscribe our video and channel and of course your comments are most valuable to us it will help us to improve further thank you for your time have a nice day